What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again back with a banger today, guys, with a review of the upcoming Jordan 1 Satin Shadow. The Satin Shadow is set to release on October 5th for a retail price point of $180. And this is a women's release up to a women's 12, a men's 10 and a half. So it is not in an extended size. It is the typical women's cut off at the 12. So unfortunately, men, if you want to hop on this one, you know, you better wear a 10 and a half or below. With that said though, these are, in my opinion, pretty fire. I mean, we've seen the satins pretty much in every single colorway now at this point. Satin Royals, Satin Breads, you know, those initially released way back when, I believe as very exclusive, only being able to bought at like Walters in a store in Texas. And then we saw the Reimagined come back in the Satin Jordan 1 Bread. We've had the Satin Shattered Backboards. And I wanna say at this point, the only one left was pretty much this Shadow. If you wanna look at some of the iconic OG Jordan 1s. There hasn't been a Satin Chicago from what I know off the top of my head. So that might be the only one left actually, the Satin Chicago colorway. But we've seen a lot of Satin bring you know, being brought out from Jordan brand, some for women's exclusive, some as this general release. For the most part though, it's dope, it's different. It is a shoe that creases very, very easily as well, but it is a shoe that definitely stands out and shines. These look a lot like the Ali Mays that we've seen released in the past, but the Ali Mays were of corduroy, I believe, but a very similar color way overall. Now these are a medium gray and white, I believe it's called. Black slash medium gray white women's Air Jordan retro high OG, 10 and a half. And that is the equivalent to that size nine. The shoe features all over satin throughout the whole entire sneaker itself. Even the inside is featuring of that satin tongue, toe box, shoe, except of course the set of laces. It does come with an additional set of laces as well, which are gray. So if you wanna do that, you can. One thing that I do like about this particular pair that they finally stopped doing on those satins and just women's shoes in general, they gave the shoes a regular set of laces, cotton normal laces. Because a lot of times when they drop these Jordan ones, they usually use like a wax lace or the lace that you know is like, it's flat, but if you pinch it, it like it's like, it's like a hollow lace of some sort, it's like a wormy lace. I like just the typical cotton, normal type of laces. But then again, this is a women's sneaker. So ladies, feel free to comment down below and let me know when it comes to your Jordans. Do you like this, the standard laces or you like wax laces or the spongy ones, like the very ropey, like cottony yarn type of lace? I, I, I would, I would think you would just want standard laces, but feel free because this is y'all sneaker. This shoe as well as the Orchid, which was supposed to be releasing also on the same day, but now has been pushed back. Two big time women releases are coming out in the month of October. This one and the Orchid. I think that the Orchid's a little bit better in my opinion. This was me, but I think this one is also dope and worth giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on this sneaker. Now looking at the demand right now, which I'm literally looking at as we speak, these shoes are currently sitting and depending on the size at very close to retail, some pairs slightly below, and I mean slightly as in like 160, 159, but after all the fees and all that, you're probably gonna be paying retail. So that gives me the thought process that these are, for the most part, probably gonna do fairly well. Are they gonna sell out instantly? No, but it may be a shoe that you want to at least pay a little bit of attention to because you might not be able to just wake up at 12 o'clock and go on a site and grab it. It may have a little bit of a hit to it. So just keep your eyes and ears peeled on that. As far as the shoe goes, there's not really much that I can talk about that you just can't see. It's an all over satin Jordan 1 shadow. You have also the Air Jordan with the Wings logo, which is embroidered that I like a lot. Nice texture as well. And you know, it's a shadow that is a uh, satin. Lace tips have metal on there. Jumpman logo is also featured on there as well. Nike Air on the inside with a black insole and then a gray Nike Air. Of course, you got the typical shadow box. So it's not the red or the red and black box that they usually do for those special pairs. They kind of made it like the original iconic shadow box. So that is also dope as well. So they made it very close. It's dope that they did this and it's been a series that's been going on for quite some time. I think when I think of, uh, like I said, satin sneakers, the first one I think on the top of my head was the Royals that dropped and was extremely limited. And then I want to say they dropped the breads after. I could be wrong, but the breads and Royals kind of dropped very close at hand. I want to say they dropped the Royals first, then the next year they dropped the uh, breads. And I think they did it like almost the same way. They were both very limited, extremely limited. Then moving on later on, they had a shattered backboard pair that dropped. And then, but now they had the reimagined bread and then they had these. So, you know, something different. 
something different. And the reimagined bread that dropped recently was a women's exclusive, whereas when it originally released, it was a men's pair, the same way that the Royals were as well. And they were limited, I think even numbered or something like that, very limited. But with that said, be on the lookout. These are releasing this upcoming Saturday. I know Soul Play will be having pairs and I'm pretty sure they'll be released first come first serve at both of their locations as well as online. So make sure you guys and girls are tuned in on that. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Ladies, I would love to hear what y'all think. I'm gonna end you guys and ladies for sure, because this is y'all shoe with an on foot review. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.